Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, I am once again taking a look at one of your designs that you've linked me in the comment section of one of my videos. And for today, we are looking at the Sling Class Tech X Light Frigate, which is this thing right here. So this is a fairly large ship, which features both ion and hydrogen thrusters. It's got some custom weapons on it, and it even utilizes a small block grid for some decoys. So pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu, there it is. This thing is 2,751 large blocks using the decorative block number one and number two DLC packs. So coming out there, we're gonna have a quick look around the outside, small tour of the inside, and I'll show you off that custom weapon on the side. So coming all the way around to the front, this is what we get. There is no visible bridge. We instead use these cameras at the front to drive it, which are attached on some blocks onto a rotor. These cameras are how we're going to fly the ship from the inside and also how we're going to aim our custom weapon. If I was to come down, we can see our iron thrusters, which have been surrounded by some passages. And on the two middle ones, we got some catwalks just to finish off those edges and make it look even better. Just coming down a little bit, we then got an antenna, which we can use as a ramming spike. Then if it was to come all the way up and on the very edge, we then have another passage, just covering up a rocket launcher. Coming all the way around to the left side, which is where the sun is, we come past that rocket launcher, and we can see some catwalks just covering up the edges of that rocket launcher and all the other internal parts. We got some cover walls, which is just above there for a bit of extra decoration. And we got some nice block work all the way along this. We then come across some yellow blocks, where we can see some conveyor blocks with some catwalks covering up their connection points, which we could, if we wanted to, remove one of those catwalks and attach something on, like an ejector, a connector, whatever you needed. Moving all the way across, we come to some carbon fiber blocks, which joins over to this bit right here. So this is our custom weapon. It's a bunch of cameras on top of warheads, on top of thrusters, which is spinning around on a rotor. It spins around to allow us to weld it up all nice and proper, and when we're ready, we'll hit launch, it'll fire out the side, and go towards whatever our camera is pointing at. If our camera is pointing at nothing, it'll simply fly out the side, and just fly off into the distance and do nothing. Just below that, we can see some more iron thrusters, a doorway to get into the ship, and slightly below that, we come to this part right here. So we have some large blocks that go all the way around the outside in the white and the grey, this little middle part right here with the unhappy face is a small block grid, which has been attached via a rotor hidden inside right here. So if I come all the way up, there it is. Now this is for our decoys, which come across on some blast door edges over to these parts right here, where if I take a look inside, you'll see the decoys right there. So that is a nice way of drawing fire away from the main body of the ship to ensure that all the important stuff doesn't get damaged. Let's come all the way up and continue along. So we've got a connector there to connect up to a small ship or to a base to recharge this thing. Then moving across some more lovely block work. We see some more hydrogen thrusters, some more turrets. Then towards the back, there is a large hydrogen tank, which is a little bit exposed, but it'll do. As we come around the back, we can see our main thrusters, which is six hydrogen thrusters and one large ion to push us along. They've got some nice block work surrounding all of them. Coming up and above that, we can see some more Gatling turrets. Then towards over here, we got ourselves a jump drive. Continuing along, all the way across to here, some more iron thrusters, some more hydrogen thrusters, some more Gatling turrets, some more good use of the passages. And towards the front, we come to this part right here, which is a bunch of interior lights set on a blinking pattern going towards the front. Now you could use this as a small landing bay where you can get a small ship to drop down and just connect up with a landing gear is entirely up to you. Then we can just continue along to the front, and there we go. So dropping down and coming underneath past our camera, past the antenna, we can come over to this part right here. So we've got some more lovely block work, and as we move along, some decorative blast door blocks, and past our big small block grid, where we can see the below there, at our passages, hydrogen thrusters and all that. Then towards the back, we've got some iron thrusters, some more galling turrets, the bottom of some more hydrogen tanks, and there's our main thruster at the back. So that is it for a brief look around the outside. It's got a lot of stuff going on with it, and it does look great. And now it's time for me to take control of my character and head on inside. So coming all the way around to the door, which was on the just above this small block grid, 
over here, we now enter in to a double door for an airlock. There is no automatic door, so we will have to close them behind us, like so. And this is the inside. So we can see an air vent up there. Looking around, we've got a projector table, a bed, and a few ways where we can go. So this doorway will lead us to the opposite side, where we just were. And then coming around to here, this doorway will then take us to our medical bay, where looking around, there's not too much going on. It's a very simplistic bay, which is very nice. We also have a chair in here, in case we want a little rest. Then another doorway, which is a double door for an airlock, which will then take us to our business area, where we can access our jump drive, our gravity generator, and repair anything that has taken damage in combat. Yes, there is nothing much else to do in this little room, just access those tanks and all these, in case you wanted to. So coming back through, let's close all that up, like so, and close up that one as well, might as well. We now have to come through this part right here. So this projector table was displaying some important blocks on the ship, but I've turned that off for performance reasons. But it's there if you wanted it. Opening up this doorway, we then hop through here. I mean, we can if we want to just jetpack over the table, but it's much more nicer to come through the door. There we go. And this is our second little room. We've got some planters, we've got some lockers, armory locker, and a bed to sleep on. And if we look all the way around to here, we then got a little hidden air vent. But that is that for that room. And the only other place where we can go is up here, where we can look down at this little room and then turn around to the much more fancier part of the ship. This part, where we have an automatic opening special captain seat, which says, welcome aboard, captain. So this is all being triggered by a little sensor right there. So if I move away, it will close, then go close to it, it will open up. Then just looking at everything else in the room, we've got some more armory lockers, some more control seats which have nothing on, so if you wanted them to do something, you would need to set it up yourself. And then of course we have our captain seat right here. So coming close to it, this is what we get. We've got a bunch of little LCD screens and buttons, then have a very fancy script that will tell you the integrity of your ship. And all these buttons are for controlling that, so I'm not going to touch them in case I mess it up. So hopping into the chair, everything will close up around us so we can get a good view at all the LCD screens. On our left, we can see our jump drives and our batteries, the LCD screen showing us our integrity of the block selected. And on our right, we can then see our ammunition and what is opened, what is closed, what is on and what is off. And then we have this curious LCD screen right there in the blue, which will follow my mouse. So if I go all the way left, all the way right, it will then follow it so you can see exactly what I'm doing with my mouse. So there we go. But as for that, it's now time to bring up the HUD and go through some of these options. Now you will see this wobbling around a little bit while moving. Not much you can do about that, it's simply how the small block is behaving with the large block. Anyway, coming into the third person, number one is for our camera at the front, where we can zoom all the way in if you wanted to. Number two is for our rocket launchers, like so. Number three is to fire our custom guns on the side, so if I was to press number four, so everything starts to weld up. Then if I was to press number three, we'll then launch our custom missile, so out it comes on the side there. There is a small delay, quite a hefty lag spike when it tries to target something, but there is no enemies nearby. So it's just going to launch it out the side and it'll keep going in a straight line. We can just keep spamming that if we wanted to, so off they go. Number five and number six is to control our gyroscope, so if we don't want it to be very controllable, we can always turn that all the way down. It's entirely up to you. 7 and 8 is for our thrusters on and off, so if we're on a planet, we can always switch that off to save some power. And number 9 is for our jump drive, where we can jump 4,000 kilometers. On tab number 2, we just have a few options, which is simply the turrets on and off. And number 2 is to lock or unlock our rotors, which is spinning right there, so we can stop them or spin them. Spinning them is slightly better for repairing them up, but you don't have to if you don't want to. So a quick little thruster test going forwards. This is what we get. We are pretty fast going all the way around and stopping are again pretty good. I will mention that this is in survival mode, so you may notice the hydrogen is not going down, but when I had this in survival mode, the hydrogen was not going down at a fast rate. In fact, it took a long time for it to even hit 98% hydrogen, so I just thought I'd load in creative mode because that's not going to go down anytime soon. Yes, going left. And going right, we've got a nice amount of control over this. Then going down. And then going up. We again got some nice amount of speed on this. 
Wheeling my mouse around with 100% gyroscopes, we got plenty of control over this. There is some weight there that does suit a large ship. So to finish off this video, I'm going to show you the custom weapon firing. So what we're going to do is aim at our target, which is a ball cube, with our camera at the front. And then we simply press number three, and we'll launch our custom payload, and it'll go over to wherever this camera is pointing. So we should see in a few seconds, there it is, and it twirls over to the ball cube and kaboom. Now we don't need to be in the camera, we just simply have to be targeting with it. So if I was to target over there, then fire it. So there it goes, it launches out, it tries to adjust itself and goes straight towards where I'm aiming. Now if I was to turn a little bit like so, and then try and launch it, so the camera is now away from the ball cube, firing it, it'll then do nothing. So we will have to be targeting the actual enemy if we want our custom weapons to fire on it. But with that all done and out of the way, that is pretty much it for this showcase. It's a very nice ship, it's got a lot of things going on with it, and it's got some nice custom weapons. But if you wish to download the Selene Class Tech X Light Frigate, there will be a link to it in the description below. And I'll be back with another video somewhat soon. Bye bye.